Like, gosh, this game is more cutscenes than actual game. And there's no voice acting to kind of make it a bit more dynamic. We have finally made it. Doesn't seem like they have control over the fire yet. My brother, is he really involved in these assassination plans? Since our Lord Father fell ill, he has ruled with a firm hand. I must hear the truth from his lips. This night's events won't be without consequence for the peace of Volandis. When Prince Frederick hears what happened here, he will blame Ascania. Then I must tell him that a demon attacked and no one is at fault. So she really is the princess. I imagined her to look different. That's her, all right, so show her the respect that she deserves. Uh, someone recognized you at the banquet. Foreign spores might already be searching for you to take you hostage. You should head for Tormond in secret, and I shall accompany you. You would do that? Well, I'm a fool for exciting stories, and I have some business to attend there. And since I was elevated to knighthood, helping you is a virtue I'm ob obliged to follow. Very well, Sir Victor. I am most happy to accept your help. In order to get to Tormund, we will have to cross the C Cortana mountain range. Paths around the mountains are dangerous, especially when avoiding the main route. Three of us will have a hard time. Then we shall some find some capable warriors at the Adventurer's Guild. Yes, we could do that, or we could hire someone whose fighting strength we have already tested. You want our help? The help of common thieves? We don't even know what kind of crooked games they are capable of. If we show our backs to them, we will soon be met with a dagger. I believe in them. They've already rescued my life once. But is this reason enough? If they return the lost princess home safely, they'll surely receive a reward. So trust in their greed for gold. This should be easy for you if you think of them as thieves. What do you think, Killian? Help the princess. The voice again? Listen to my advice, Glenn. It's important to help order to open the door. What are you talking about? We did not find anything in Farnsport regarding the Grimori. Terran's main capital, Tormund, would be our next destination anyway. We might also be able to ask for information about the Grimori as a reward. Okay. It's settled. We will help you. I thank you. You will be properly rewarded for your selflessness. Well then, I wish you luck, but now is the moment where I say goodbye. A generous reward is great, but there's not much to buy in the realm of the dead. Take care, my dears. When I think about it, it can't be that dangerous across the mountains, right? Really, you want to come along as well? I wouldn't say I want to, but it seems to be the smartest option at the moment. We should use the light of day and move on. Hopefully we'll find more answers in Tormund, Killian. Well, less is hardly possible. If my brother has nothing to do with this conspiracy, I must explain these events to him. It's nobody's fault that this beast invaded the palace today. He will believe me. I do not trust these crooks, but there is no denying it. We need their help. If Sir Victor and Len are for it, I will not stand in their way. I will come along and help as much as I can, but if it gets dangerous, I am out. She, 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 what a colorful troop. Very well, on to Terran. The soil of Volandis may be nourished by blood, but I am sure that one day peace will be able to take root against all odds. We will cross the Kortahara Mountains. Monsters and bandits will await us there, and they will be the least of the evils even if we are in a hurry. The safety of the princess is our first priority. If we have to make preparation for the city, then we should take the time to do so. The main checkpoint to the north might be under surveillance. We could try our luck there anyway, or we can visit the village of Basilo. 
The locals there might tell us how to get through the mountains without crossing the checkpoint. Either way, both options leave across the rolling fields. Before we travel, there are some places we need to visit here in Farnsworth first. Receive new quest, finish quest. So we got... Do those just work like other skills and use get points? Yeah, now the next one we want is that wind resistance. Like, I think we messed up by not- or the wind, wind thrust, not the wind resistance. We might want wind resistance at some point, too. Looks like we want two more abilities, and then... And then we'll want to get the next tier, then we'll get some stuff on the next tier, so... So it looks like there's four tiers of abilities. Oh, hey, wow, we can actually go back. What's this way, then? Oh, there isn't anything there. Alrighty, then. It means we didn't miss anything. That's good. I don't like missing things if I can avoid it. If you get a chance to eat a plum from Vati, go for it. There's some, nothing better, I swear. Advertising me? No, I'm just bored. The other children call me a liar and never want to play with me. So boring. Hey, you want to try a plum from Vati? Sure. Alright, that's 100 hard. Expensive? What are you talking about? Of course it's expensive. Start asking price before you start before buying some pay up. Well, I don't have any money, so... Yeah, earning money in this game is kind of hard. Awesome, the dog likes me. Half the stuff here is stolen. Half of those merchants are actually pirates. But they're the only ones that set sail for Volanda, so we've learned to live with the lie. Everyone in the market claims to be selling fresh fish from our waters. But every time I try to catch something, I only find garbage. What am I doing wrong? Hey, you want to come here for the deals? Seems like my reputation as the ultimate dealer is known all over Escania. No? Do you even know what deals are? Oh, man. I just don't sell things for money. No, instead, you sell me your stuff, and if it's something nice, I'll make you a deal. You can sell me anything. I materials, items, collectibles, anything. Give me a give it a try. Get a sea otter horse perch for my boy over there to sell it to me. Deals are a special offer you unlock by selling a certain combination of items to any merchant. Once you sell one of these items you for a deal, you'll be notified. A list under deals show all available deals for which you sold at least one item. You can check what remaining items you must sell in order to be obtained to purchase the deal. Alright. Boss is teaching you how to use deals, right? How very self -sum. Let me follow this example here. Take this otter horse perch for free. It's the only market of its kind in Volantis. Being so close to free cities in the south allows foreign sport to flourish, relatively speaking. Eat anything? Think we're supposed to sell it, I guess? Is that what the... New deals have been unlocked. Okay, deals. Starter pack for zero arc. Okay. It's one sweet, one snack, one angel. Nice. Well, considering the price, it seemed pretty good. Trove of Midas. You got a capless mushroom. Needs five capless mushrooms, five rats, five metal frogs, five lemons, five coins. So this is like Final Fantasy uh, 12. A dirty wool will unlock that one. Pack of snacks. All right. Well, the dealer has taught you everything you know. Now go on with your adventure, travelers. 
So I think that's when you get the loots, the, the loots, that's what you sell off to get those, it looks like. And then, we will, you can, treasure, find it. Then we'll grab, shh, you idiot, someone might hear us. I'm literally standing right here, it's funny. Farnsport is a perfect stop for goods for the free cities towards the north. This makes Farnsport the wealthy city of Atlantis. Even during the worst times, we at least have bread and water uh, to eat and water to drink. You can't say that about Gravos or Terran. Hey. Okay, there was nothing that way. Hey, you see that tell hanging there? That's our boss, the ultimate dealer. He's a special kind of fioram. His body needs to stay cool and hydrated. Guess that's it, huh? That really all there is to do. Can't really talk to a lot of people, can you? Come by, original pasta, straight. Just noodles and missing the eggs, just like him. You should wait this place by yourself somewhere else, unless you want something less legal. Okay, well, we actually get to explore the town for once, I guess. that's it. This town's huge. Chancellor's a man of fast decisions. The pass to Cortar is about to be closed. The higher the mine, the higher your defense against magic attacks. It also raises your healing capabilities. Oh, cool, so it has two purposes. If an enemy is blinded, its physical attack will always miss. It's a powerful defensive move. Venture skill, a place full of capable fighters that can complete any dangerous task you have. Silence hinders the use of magic skills. These are all skills with the yellow icon. Healing magic, for example, still works. Valor Minaret skills restores technical points, right? You should use it before you run out of TP to help you keep um, from dangerous situations in battle. Otherwise, Use this skill after you've already run out, and it won't help much. Do you know about unique monsters? There's only one of each kind of existence throughout the world. Technically, they're stronger than other foes around them, but they also drop special loot, so it's worth a tough battle. You can find two unique monsters in Roland Fields. Tack the Yak in front of the North Gate and leaping the frog to the north of Basil. If you join the guild, I can share even more information with you. If you have no action available in battle, Use an item to apply either heavy, dry, oil, or wet to the enemy, so another character can deal extra damage on their upcoming turn. Oil makes enemies more vulnerable to fire attacks, heavy, earth attacks, dry to water attacks, and wet to wind attacks. Performing a normal attack is often your weakest option in combat. Since you're refreshed after each battle, I'd advise you to concentrate on using skills. Welcome to the Adventures Guild. How can I help you, travelers? We want to go on a journey to Tormund. Is there anything we should be aware of? Tormund, I'm sorry. Terrible timing. Something happened in the palace last night. Airships and sky armors have been going out all morning. They have been saying that the pass to Cortara would be closed. This is bad. If you hurry, you might still have a chance. Well, we'll be going then. Oh, before you leave, one info. One thing. This info is free this time. Normally, our network and information are only available to members of the guild. If you need more information, or if you're looking for all kinds of jobs, you'd have to join us. Big chance to get new recruits. Sorry, but... And how do you become a member? You're abiding? You have to complete a task from the guild leader. The leader, that's all. What is the task? Hmm. 
We're gonna go to Tormund. Currently, no airships are flying. So if you manage to reach Tormund on foot, it's enough proof of your skills for me. If you're we're already on our way there, why not take the chance? Here, take this letter and bring it to the leader of Tormund's Adventures Guild. May Ronger's blessing be with you. Do you want to join the guild? It has many benefits. You can learn about recent events, have access to a lot of job offers, and even get detailed information about unique monsters. So it's kind of like uh, the guild in uh, Final Fantasy XII, where you get all the hunts and whatnot. That's what I think. That's what it looks like. You and your enemies have resistance status effects at the start of the fight. You are the enemy's resistance, usually zero, so a status effect will normally apply. To apply the same effect a second time, you'll need to use it twice. If you plan to apply for a third time, you have to use it thrice, and so on. If you have no available skill to trigger, the skill type demanded by the overdrive bar, try using overdrive items. They're really useful in certain situations. What'd you staring at, rookie, huh? The Chancellor's a man of fast decisions. The passive Cortara is about to be closed. Did you notice that some enemies have sparks around them? I've heard they drop more loot after being killed. You should avoid the soldiers, so I can't go that way. Love to go on adventure see more of the beautiful world, but I. I'm at a liable age for military reserves, can't leave. Well, I actually could leave, but what happened to my family? Neighbors would mock them for their cowardly son. This town is huge, and there's a box there. Fine wool. I love being a man of sea. When war breaks out, borders are redrawn, we can just find a new port. If things get worse, Valentis got nothing to keep us here. People say we sailors don't have homes. Pa, they don't know the feeling we put to sea. It's like coming home. Coconut fibers. Porn looks pretty strong, but he's the biggest chicken. When we got news from the palace earlier, he immediately turned tail and couldn't get out of Atlanta soon enough. Alarm clock. Four men has got seen a, a, pl a place on the other side of the world. A giant fungus spread throughout the land there caused a lot of problems. Nasty business, I tell you. The four men doesn't have good memories of it. Faster, men. We'll load the cargo, then we're out of here. Let for the land is burn without us. This time of year, the hood should reach our waters again. Our ship urgently needs new spare parts. I guess I can't go that way. There's a box there. This part of the city is called the Floating Village. This is where the poorest of the poor live, if you can really call this living. If it's so poor, how come there's a box just sitting there? The rich cover themselves with perfume to smell better, but they're only fooling themselves. Down here, we know the real stench. Do you smell all that garbage? It's all washed up here from there. A war doesn't make any difference to us here. We got nothing to eat either way, and since we're too sick, we won't be drafted to the armies. Don't ask me if that's a blessing. Not only does the woman in this shack tend to do our sick and wounded, but she also takes care of the shells. Help. Healing shells is pretty useless if you ask me. Nothing can rescue them from their fate. That aside, she's also a fortune teller. Strange combination. She has a steepled hat. Sorry, we're not taking anyone you. I'm not in the mood to. I'm not in the mood for anything, actually. Guess she doesn't say anything different if you uh, talk to her behind the counter. Nope, can't go in those. 
Okay, so there's a box there. I could have swore there's a place we could walk in somewhere. Maybe not. Maybe I was thinking somewhere else. Alright, so we're gonna go up. There's a box there, too. Can we get further that way? Bunch of boxes. I don't know how to get them. We might not be able to get them yet. Gotta be able to get too further to the right there. What are you staring at? Hey, money, nice. Can we? We can buy a plum now. I have no idea if it's worth it or not, but. Bizarre is a world of its own. Being here makes me forget about all the trial troubles inside. Did you have a place like this? <gasps> I know this place. <laughs> oh, you dirty pig. Wink, wink. Okay. Well, that is a uh, scene. <laughs> There's some innuendo. Remember, kids, the letter I is for innuendo. What do you want? Equipment? Have you ordered in advance? No? Then you can forget about it. A huge order came in from the palace this morning. You think a new war is coming? I see. What about the anvil there in the corner? Can we borrow it? I do have a bit of blacksmithing experience. Oh, right. I've read that. You invented the letterpress machine, right, Sir Victor? You are Sir Victor, huh? I've heard you were in foreign sport. My wife literally eats all of your work. If you can handle it, you can use my tools anytime. For a small fee, of course. I should touch your skills first. I don't want you to break my stuff. Go through my house to the backyard. You'll find a crystal source there. Upgrade this boy's sword one level and insert a crystal into it. If you can do that, I shall trust you with my tools. Upgrade your weapons and armor by using materials found in chests and drop by monster. Upgrading weapons and armor raises their stats. You can upgrade each piece twice, shown by as plus, plus, plus. Additionally, uh, the equipment gains more slots to insert bigger and more crystals into it. <gasps> crystals! Oh my gosh! So this is going to be like, um, like Final Fantasy VII or maybe like the Artanelico. Gather crystals with passive skills to set your armor and weapons. For example, you can set an attack up crystal into a weapon. Have your attack raised while using weapons. Crystals need to be ranked 3 or higher to be inserted into equipment. Crystals have ranks so on rank 3. The crystal unlocks its passive skill and can be set into equipment. On rank 4, or sorry, 5 and 10, this passive skill gets more power and order to raise its ranks. You can combine different effects of the same passive skill. When combining a crystal, you will choose a base crystal and fuse a crystal. You can enter any crystal with a purity above zero. Resulting crystal, you have a base crystal's purity minus one. You have ranks summed up. You have its size average. Become an artificial crystal marked by an asterisk. These crystals can only be used as base crystals and not as fused crystals. You can set several crystals into a single piece of equipment. You need to consider the amount of slots in your equipment shown as empty circles and the size of the crystal. Oh, I see. The menu popped up. I think I just messed up. The menu totally popped up. 
see, you know, these birds say that makes me want to set out to discover the world myself, but then again, I get seasick pretty quickly. Also, not the best shape. Walking around for a few minutes makes me exhausted. Plus, I hate most foods and eat only what my mother prepares for me. And sleeping? Don't you get me started. I need a bed that's twice as big as me. And it must be dead silent, of course. I guess I should stay at home. How foolish of me buying a house that's close to the mark. I thought it'd be practical. But do you hear the noise? I can't stand it. Sage, nice. Well, the cat did not like that. If you want to buy equipment, I have to disappoint you. This morning, the army showed up and bought out our entire inventory. If you need weapons, you'll probably have to look outside the city. HP up. Okay, so this is... See that? This is So this is this crafting is going to be a lot like Arts and Alico. Have you ever played Arts and Alico? Like, this is totally what it's going to be like. Crystals. Upgrade weapons, upgrade armor. Do you want to enhance for free? Sure. Tainted Iron Sword Plus. Nice. All right. Okay. Ah, oh, the money for that insert. Set in a weapon, here we go. You have an enhanced iron sword plus, nice. Well done. Free. Feel free to use my tools anytime you want. I wonder if we end up with crafting of like other material stuff, but it's like, yeah, no, you gotta collect all the materials and stuff out in like the wilderness in Artanelico, and they all look kind of goofy like that. Like, I guess the Atelier games, which Artanelico was based on, also is like that. I haven't really played a lot of the Atelier games, though. Alright. Guess we just have to leave Farn Sport. That is the quest requirement, apparently. Some of us want to loot up the places. Cats do not like being pet. Swear, a monster enveloped in flames headed towards past. No one believes me. I mean, we can smith some more weapons. Assuming we had more money, which we do not. <gasps> Raven Cloak. So the breathing cloak, you can use it. So I think to maximize gear, we want to put this on her because a lot of people can't use some of these others here.
There we go. Just kind of upgrade more people's equipment here. Still doesn't explain how we get that one chest by the docks. Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. Like, we totally missed all that. <gasps> A boken. I bet you I know who that's for. See? Yep. It's weird that a boken would be better than a katana. Because your bokens are made of wood. Plus five attack, though, so we'll take it. Helping people is my passion. That's what everyday heroes do. So this is a hospital, I guess. Well, Magnolia still don't want to talk to me. All right, so that leaves, so you just gotta go. Oh shoot, over the course of your adventure, you will find fast travel crystals and unlock your destinations. Quickly travel to open the map, and then you can fast travel in the menu, select your destination, you can fast travel almost anywhere in Volandis. So that's like Final Fantasy XII. Do you need anything? Well, Discovered fast travel location. We should probably save. We've done a lot of things. It's been a minute. Oh, I guess that's the exit. It's a shame. No worse than that. It's a tragedy. Is everything okay? Nothing's okay. The opposite, actually. What's bothering you? Entire situation. I've waited for the right opportunity for so long, and now this. I think you'd better start from the beginning. Oh, as I might as well. My name's Vesta and I'm the cartographer. I've surveyed Nerelia, sailed with Baki, and have even sneaked into the Arts Rage. My notes, I keep all the important information about Eldria together. One of the few places missing was Volandis. The endless war made me hesitant to come here, but I heard about the peace treaty a year ago and I could hardly believe my luck. Look around you. Warships are rising. Sky armors are patrolling. The pass to Kortar has been closed. I was lured by peace, only to be greeted by a new war. They've closed the border? That was fast. Do not worry, my dear Vesta. Maybe we can help you. Are my ears playing tricks on you? I can rec could recognize his brass, bassy voice even between a pack of grumpy pirates. It's you, Sir Victor, my friend. Alive and breathing, the last time we met, we've been counting the vineyards in the free cities for your book. If I recall correctly, we didn't get any further than one. 
If I'm offered a bottle of Arcadian wine and can't say no, ho ho ho, now this lightens up my mood a bit. So you really want to help, uh, get, hand me a helping paw? I would pay you, of course. Truth be told, we have a longer trip comes out, so we might as well help you out a bit. Do we have time for this, Sir Victor? If we are paid in the efforts reasonable, why not? That'd be wonderful. You know, the guild of cartographers often works with volunteers. That's why we created this reward board. Only do we want to measure land, but also want to learn more about Valanda's flora and fauna. But for this purpose, we've put some tasks on this board. If you complete them, you will be richly rewarded. This is so exciting. Wish you would have come sooner to Valanda's. I would have loved to have traveled with you. That's nice of you say, oh, there's one more thing I will have to mention. Come out into the fields with me and I'll explain it in detail. Reward board has several tasks for you to tackle and numerous rewards to earn. When entering certain areas, new parts of the board are unlocked. Each field represents task. Once the task is finished, you can claim your reward. Furthermore, finished task fields that are adjacent to one another will make up a chain. You'll earn extra rewards for the length of your longest chain. You can quickly access the reward board by pressing right trigger. So I guess that's out in the field up there. Which must mean it's the last place we want to go. So I think we're about done, yep. Alright, so we've pretty much explored everywhere. Can't bear it anymore. Our peaceful... Uh, our peace prevailed for only one year and now we're at war again. I already paid with my husband's and son's lives. There's nothing left for me to give. Please, this war must not start. I'd even forgive Terran and Gravos. Many of them lost their loved ones as well. Alright, overdrive items. Can't teleport anywhere, I guess, because we don't know any more crystals. Hmm. Can we actually explore stuff? Oh, there you go. See what Vasta wants for us. Dane it. <gasps> Here we go. We can fight some fights for once. All right. Up early. There we go. Ash and bone. Nice. <laughs> Those flies, man, they struggle. Wool turtle?
This will be better. Oh, maybe not. Wow, they are pretty tough. There you go. I see. Cleanse. Or her buff. SP gain. SOS Jeff lined up. Like I said, it really is just like Artanelico with how you gather materials. Artanelico, like Artanelico 2 is one of my all time favorite games. I love that game. <gasps> Capless Mushroom is one of those things we need. Okay. Guess we can't go that way. We could do it a bit of exploring at least. TP cost down. Oh, more of these uh, wool turtles. Right, Sienna. That's actually a good ability, I like it. Shoot, nothing is still on that one. Ultra moves about back up again. There we go. See, we're actually able to beat our fights. <gasps> oh, whoa, what is this? This is a big monster. Attack the yak, whoa. This 
Ice Cave. That is. That seems like a scary monster. There you are. I need to tell you a few things you should keep in mind on your journey. You see that huge beast over there? Journey, you sometimes encounter monsters. To do is strong for you. Stay away from them. This monster is called the Unique Monster. It means that you won't find Taxi Yak a second time in the world. They mostly drop special items. So much for that. Follow me to the west. Well, in fields. <gasps> There's a house. The past few days, my husband has been staring through the window at the windmills. This morning, he seems to have discovered something and ran off towards them. Nothing here, huh? Sienna's influence clearly rubbing off on the whole team here. Because I can't help but want to steal everything. Okay, we've been here. Okay, I guess we have to... See the symbol here on the ground? The natives of Volandis put these here to indicate a buried treasure. There are three arrows on top of one points towards treasure while the other two are fakes. Try to see. So there will be another symbol which points towards the same treasure. Now you can guess where the treasure is by inspecting the point they intersect. Great, isn't it? Go ahead and grab it. Then we can head to the next dangerous point up north. So... Found buried treasure, as from bone. Nice. treasure. Guess it's just ash and bones? Oh my gosh, where is he now? Okay. Do you notice anything around me? No. This wall here is very crumbled. Put your weight into it and you'll find a hidden cave. During the war, bandits often hid treasures in them, and then you would seal them off with a few stones. And that's it. Sure, keep you along. Thanks for your help. Heading for Windshire now. Should you ever need to get there, please feel free to visit me. Oh, and don't forget about the cave here. Receive new quest. Crossing mountains. Len needs to return to her brother immediately. The only way leads to the Quartara Mountain Range. Find a way across the border. <gasps> a reward board? Step in roll on fields. Find 9 out nine, out 9 treasure chests. Find a class emblem. Barn sport. Kind of reminds me of uh, the license board Final Fantasy XII, but these are just rewards, not like abilities or anything cool. Cool. We have money though. We can go get that to buy that plum thing, which we might want to do. But let's go get the loot over here because I can see it. Bunch of stuff over here. Box up there, bitter onions. Oh shoot, maybe we can't get it. There's a box up there. You're not a member of the Adventure Guild. I have nothing to say to you. Nice. 
this. I can't. Oh, wait, maybe. I like this music here. Shoot, there's all these caves here. We should probably explore that one cave. We should go back. Go get the plum. Like I wasn't sure if that cave was gonna be something that take me to the place we need to go. Help! Save me from this monster! I felt defeat now. Wants doubt to get me. There's nothing here. What are you talking about? Can't you see it? The fish piece towering high into the sky. I can only see windmills. Exactly. Do you see the one with the broken wheel? My look harmless to you, but I can see straight through its illusion. Don't let it deceive you. I beg of you. Defeat the monster of this land. His name's Don Q. <laughs> you ever know the story of Don Quixote? Yeah, he fights windmills. Uh oh, what am I? Oh, we are fighting a windmill. Mimic. Guess I should have looked. Oh, wait, no, we can't see if there's a. Oh yeah, we can't. See. There's nothing to steal. I should have looked first. I wasn't expecting to fight windmills. Defeat a building. We just defeated a building. Take that building. Help, please help me. Check out that cave, go by the plum. Oh shoot, Sienna just dropped. We have that ability now. Which seems like a good ability. Oh, 
shoot. Oh my gosh. Okay, that regen is gonna kill us. Cause that ain't gonna help. Gosh, those defense buffs, guys, they really screw us up. gonna get it. Nothing to steal. Should probably armor break. We just want to drop our overdrive thing. It's kind of annoying system to be honest. I don't really like it. There we go, gosh. It's 3 SP gained. Thank you for your help. What are you doing from the main road? Stay on the main road next time. Don't worry, we're glad you're unarmed. You're too kind, it's foolish me to choose this path. Since they have closed this path, soldiers on the main road are sending every merch back town. Can't afford to do that, so I need to get to Cordon, which I'm trying to avoid the main road. I guess I was surprised that I think I should really head back. If you ever come to Basel, pay me a visit. I have a reward for your help. Oh, you haven't even talked to Windmill Guy. Uh, I saw you defeat the Windmill. I knew something was wrong. Thank you. Not only have you freed this land for it, but you've also saved my sanity. I thought I'd lose my mind. But what was that? A mimic, a monster disguising itself as other objects? What a terrifying thought. Anyway, I'll return home now. Thank you for your help. Here, take this little toad, my gratitude. Got a weapon. Plus magic, plus attack. I'll take it. Where is the cave? Here it is. Alright, we're gonna go back to town now. Oh wait, we should talk to the lady whose husband was about the windmills. Don't try to fight that monster ever again on your own. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, Don Quixote. Pom-pom, feed five pig ear. 
So I mean, uh, the quest to, is that like a re life reward board scene? Yes, it is. Feed a building. Longest chain seven. All right, interesting. Griffin's kind of things wrong. You've heard the people the army search for. I'm going to find them. Important. The endangered group six people. Burns palace house night. Made up two women, four men. One of the women has red hair, and another one has. Ha <laughs> ha! I haven't seen anything. Thought you got to prove to your girlfriend how strong you are. Apparently not. Oh, this is adventure guild. Let's find Plum Merch and see what he's all about. Sure. Alright, it's 100 expensive. What are you talking about? Of course it's expensive. Try us for, for five cents. Pay up. Well, I guess you can't actually eat one. I thought we could actually get one last time we didn't have the money, so I decided. But... Alrighty then. Ah, that's the place we couldn't go before. Because the soldiers were there. They wanted us to talk to the other guy, I'm sure. Finally start like actually playing the game, which is nice. 